Brian Kavitek. Our super panel, Brian Kavitek. Brian Kavitek, jump in here. Big trouble is exactly the way to describe it. Why would you want that? It's, it's outrageous. The smaller teams, the smaller markets, could be in desperate trouble as a result of this. There could be bankruptcies that follow. The NFL itself, which is nothing more than a collection of teams, could be in real trouble if this goes into the multi-billion dollar range. You know, the lawyers that are working on this case for the plaintiffs are the same lawyers that got $4 billion for Vioxx a few years ago. These wow. are not lightweights. They're going hard. It's a violation of the United States Constitution. It's a violation of the Sixth Amendment right to confront your accusers. It's a violation of the obligation that every prosecutor has from the lowest level prosecutor in the smallest county in the United States to the federal government and the Justice Department. It could mean dozens, maybe hundreds of criminal convictions are gonna be set aside. Our attorney, Brian Kabatek, is back with us, too. He represented Michael Jackson in his privacy case. Well, I got to tell you, first of all, that when this trial started seven weeks ago, I thought this was a long, long, long shot for the plaintiffs and their lawyer, who I know very well, who's a great lawyer. Today, I think the wheels have completely come off the AEG bus. Brian, you're a lawyer. I'm not. I mean, tell me. That sounds ridiculous. It makes the people from AEG look crazy. And then if you look at what the court did immediately following Hobby Lobby is they issued six rulings in pending cases, returning them or affirming them in lower courts that look to be that they're going to allow a wide path for religious type of exemption. They said this was a narrow decision. And then they issue six decisions right after that. And I think those six decisions right after that returning the case are very interesting. And watchers of the court look at that and say, what are they doing here and how far are they going to go? This looks like the beginning of the end. And it looks like this case is going to go to a mistrial. Trial attorney Brian Kabatek weighed in on the impasse. They're stuck on liability. And remember, in California, you don't have to have a unanimous jury for a civil case. You only have to have nine jurors agree on any one question. They can't even get nine jurors to agree on the liability question, the first question. They're in deep trouble. It's a very tough case. People have to realize that trying to prove that the Dodgers are responsible for what these two guys did to Brian Stowe is a tough legal burden. It may be emotional or emotionally something that people feel strongly about, but as a legal burden, it's a tough, tough way to go. He sells the team for $2 billion, arguably has no damages. I don't know what the damages would be. If he's declared mentally incompetent, he has absolutely no capacity to sue. And if he has no capacity to sue, then the lawsuit's gonna get dismissed. What we came to find out is that this driver is on the 24th hour of a 24-hour shift straight without any brakes. It's very dangerous out there when you're driving around a vehicle that's several tons. It's a weapon. Airlines do it. They only have so many hours that a pilot can fly before they're grounded. It, it makes perfect sense to have truck drivers and commercial drivers like this subject to the same rules and regulations. Brian Kavitek, thank you. Brian Kavitek, always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much, thank Brian Kavitek.